And I'd like to uh, echo her her uh, thanks to the auto show for inviting us here. It, it's a true pleasure to be here. Uh, I think U of T has a tremendous amount to bring uh, to our community, to our nation, and we really are looking forward to uh, partnering with people to, to take some of our research into practice. Um, so, um, you know, they say we live in, uh, they, that we live in interesting times. In fact, they often say it's a Chinese curse. May he live in interesting times? And certainly that's the case. And I think when we read headlines and uh, in, in the newspaper and so forth, that sometimes I think we get a little discouraged about some of the things that are happening uh, in this region and elsewhere. But in fact, uh, if we step back from some of the headlines, there's a tremendous amount of good things happening in this region, good things happening in transportation. And so I'd like to just spend a couple minutes talking about just a few of those, and maybe, uh, particularly maybe a few of the things that uh, maybe people aren't aware of, uh, and particularly maybe at an auto show, uh, it, it's not the sort of things we would usually talk about, but I think actually has great relevance to motorists and and, uh, uh, and uh, the automobile industry in general. Um, and the first of those is, is actually what's going on in transit in this region. Uh, as Judy says, we're a very, very large region. Uh, Transit is an essential component of any large city in the world, metropolitan area. We can't exist without it. It's not a nice to have, it's a must have. And, uh, you know, I often like to say that transit is the motorist's best friend, even if one never takes transit oneself because of your travel patterns or preferences or whatever. The fact that that transit system exists and is moving millions of people a day uh, makes life easier uh, for you on the highway. Certainly in this region, we don't always see that right now, but that's a bit with the congestion we have, but that's actually part of the story I want to talk about. So just, just to very briefly talk about a few of the things that are going on in particularly related to transit in this region that over time, I think, will make a difference to us and, and will uh, help uh, not just transit users, but, but motorists and everybody in the region make the region more productive, more environmentally sustainable. Um. And, and, and just improve quality of life as well as economic productivity. Um, just a couple of highlights. First of all, something that is, is gaining momentum is, is in the planning stages but has huge potential is the uh, Pearson Airport Mobility Hub. Uh, Pearson Airport is, of course, our major, our major entry to the region from, from the world. Uh, it's one of the largest airports in, in North America. It's growing rapidly. Uh, but the, the Pearson Airport area itself is the second largest employment center in the Toronto region after downtown Toronto and it's indeed it's the second largest employment region in the country larger than downtown Montreal Vancouver and so forth so getting people to and from the airport getting people to and from jobs in the region in, in the area is extremely important and uh, and plans are underway to turn the airport into a mobility hub not just an airport but a, a focus for transit for all sorts of uh, different services coming in uh, whether you're going to the airport or you're going to a job nearby or you're coming into this hub to to transfer someplace else. Uh, the intent is to really create a second Union Station. Union Station obviously is our, our main focus point for transit in the region, downtown. Creating really a second downtown, a second major focus that is much more centrally located, frac frankly, within the region that, uh, that could have huge impact in terms of uh, becoming a center for new transit services that again should have impact as we go on. Um, the second major thrust which has been going on for some time is we have a regional transportation planning agency in this, in this in the Greater Toronto Hamilton area, Metrolinx, uh, they've had an original uh, master plan a few years ago called uh, the Big Move. They've completely updated that reason, re uh, re recently. Um, to create a, a, a regional transportation plan for 2041, looking ahead, um, and and this this uh, has plans for ma major transit facilities, for bicycles, for freight improving freight movements, and so on. So it's trying to look at the 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 entire scope of transportation within the region and saying how can we best intervene over the next 20 years to make things better. Uh, and and we'll see a number of individual projects coming out of that as we go along and as we agree on what might be done. Um, the third which is well underway and, and, and will soon be with us is the Eglinton Crosstown, um, a light rail system but un, uh, that's, uh, that's underground like a subway for most of its length, running, running east-west along Eglinton. You can see the red circle there showing the Eglinton line. A huge, huge step forward in terms of transit within the Toronto region. We've had this very small subway system uh, that we're all familiar with, those of us who live here. Um, 
with just, in particular, with just one major east-west corridor, the Bloor Danforth line, uh, getting Eglinton in place midtown from east to west will will significantly in, improve, uh, <coughs> reduce congestion in the Eglinton corridor, significantly improve east-west connectivity, significantly add to the network of transit that's trying to provide door-to-door -door connectivity in the region, and and so will have big impact. Those of you who are maybe drive in the area I know there's been huge disruption on Eglinton for a number of years. The pain is worth while, let me tell you, because eventually uh, all the construction will go away and we'll, we'll have a brand new uh, rail system that's going to make a difference to us. Um, and there's lots of other good transit ideas out there. We, uh, transit's a bit of a blood sport in this city, in this province. Uh, every, all the politicians like to argue over it. Uh, but I, I, if we can get past the arguments, there are lots of good ideas on the table that we, we really need to implement. And if we could implement them, they would make a difference. Uh, we all heard about the downtown relief line, but Smart Track out in 905 regions in Mississauga, the here Ontario LRT, in the city of Hamilton, the LRT there. Um, again, these are major projects that can have significant difference in terms of adding to our uh, building out the transit network that we need. Um, and so that's that's one thing I wanted to talk about is, is uh, the things that are going on in transit that should give us uh, uh, optimism that we, we can uh, move forward into the future in, in productive ways. But of course the other big thing that's happening, and I'm sure it's all over the auto show here and, and all your minds, is, is innovation, is technology, uh, automation of, of vehicles, connectivity of vehicles, electrification of vehicles, and the whole artificial intelligence and uh, information technology platforms uh, that are enabling uh, new mobility services of all sorts, the Ubers and Lyfts and everything else in the world uh, that are being implemented worldwide. It's, it's a brave new world in transportation and mobility and we're going to hear from the rest of our speakers I think talking a lot more about many of these things uh, and, uh, and, and innovations and opportunities. Um, I, we tell our students that this is, there has never been a better time to be going into the transportation field because it's changing so rapidly. Uh, the growth in jobs and the opportunities to make a difference and to change the world, change our cities is, is, is before them. And, and uh, so I, I think uh, that, uh, you know, our challenge is how to make best use of that technology and make sure the technology is implemented in a way that actually advances our, our economic, social, and environmental goals uh, and, not, and doesn't just maybe make money for a, a company or two. That, uh, this is a real opportunity to change the way we, we travel in the city, the way we interact with each other, and the way we build cities. And so it's, it's a huge opportunity for us, but it's also a huge challenge. Uh, and of course, the other side of that is, as, as uh, Judy has alluded to already a little bit, uh, Toronto is the hot place to be. All technology companies are coming here. The, the, the Googles, the Sidewalk Labs, the Ubers, um, our Vector Institute uh, here on artificial intelligence. Uh, Toronto has, be, the Toronto region has become a, a hot spot, and an attractive place for these technologies, which is of course great for the economy, but also has impacts. It means we can be a, transport, a leader, leader in transportation innovation, building on and all that um, uh, IT and, and AI type expertise. And, um, and, and so, uh, you know, we, we see uh, the, the world both in terms of the technology and in transportation coming to us. And as I say, we'll hear much more about that from some of our other speakers. And the final thing I want to talk about, which also uh, comes out, of, uh, flows from this notion of technology and how this, this is a, a hot spot for uh, innovation and technology development. Uh, it's not just Toronto. It's not just the city of Toronto. It's the entire Toronto-Windsor corridor. We, there, is that other, there is that other university down the highway called the University of Waterloo and Wilfrid Laurier uh, and some couple, uh, a couple of universities in between um, and more and more we're seeing the emergence of what, what's called an innovation corridor between Toronto and Water, uh, Waterloo uh, stimulating the entire mega region in terms of as a technology center. Uh, my next speaker David Wolf I think is going to talk a, a much more about that but it's also a transportation challenge how we connect how we connect uh, that region together, how we make it much easier for people in Toronto and people in Waterloo and those in between to interact with each other. And again, technology, new services, uh, new ways of thinking about how we deliver transportation, how we move about will be very central to that. Um, so that's, uh, I'm just about out of time and that's um, uh, all I want to say. Th again, thank you very much. I'm very happy to turn over to the rest of our speakers to hear more about some of these exciting new ideas. Thank you.